No, sir, I drove. Why? I've been thinking. You present me with a problem. Problem? You assure me that my name will never come into this, that uh, you will be my protector. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. Do you see that? What? Uh, a man just shot someone. But where? Oh, over there, there, see? I don't see anything. He just moved away from the window. You've been out in the sun too long. Mother, I'm telling you. Oh, it's a mirage. No. No, we're going back. We're going what? Which way's back? Which way's... Holy oh, minute! What are you doing? I got it. It's all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. You take this. Yeah, I, I got that. No, no you, you, you take this. But what'll I do with it? Officer Sanchez. Oh. Mrs. Stewart? Uh, no, no, I'm Mrs. Stewart. That, that's my mother, Mrs. Walters. Uh, you reported a shooting? Yes, uh-huh. Yes. Oh, oh well, um, uh, this man in a bathrobe, um, uh, he, he shot another man uh, in, in a uniform. What kind of uniform was it? Oh, well, I, well, I can't tell the difference between an usher and a mailman. <laughs> Well, I mean, I can tell them apart, but not what they're wearing, you know, but, uh... Well, well I'm, I'm sure it was a military uniform. Did you see anything, ma'am? Mm -hmm. My daughter's the one who sees things, officer, not me. You know, just because you were looking in the other direction oh, doesn't mean uh, that I didn't see it. Uh, where was the shooting, Mrs. Stewart? R uh, right over there. See? S see that house over there? Are you sure? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know who lives in that house? Uh, well, no. Does it matter? I'd rather not say till we've had a chance to investigate. Oh, yeah. May I have your address? She lives with me. 8090 Vale. May I have your phone? 985-4321. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Is that... is that all? Well, for now. If we need anything more, you'll be contacted. Oh. Thank you. Um... Nine eight five four three two one. Yes, ma'am. Come on. You know, I, I... Come on! On that shooting report, Sergeant, the witness says it occurred in General Hollister's house. The General Hollister? Yes, sir. Now, it just doesn't seem right that a slick sleeve like me would barge in and ask a man like General Hollister if he just shot somebody. I see your point, Sanchez. I'd better send over somebody from Homicide. Stand by, I'll have him there as soon as I can. Roger. Please, sir, my name is uh, Columbo. Lieutenant Columbo. Mm. Yes, Lieutenant? I'm terribly sorry to disturb you, sir, but we have this report uh, about this shooting. A shooting? Yes, sir. In this house. That's quite an opening line, Lieutenant. Sir, I'm sure it's just a crackpot complaint, but uh, I... Uh... But it's your job to follow it up. Yes, sir. I understand. I've had to do many unpleasant things myself in the line of duty. Uh, but may I ask, this uh, alleged shooting, 
just who is supposed to have shot whom? Well, you see, sir, we don't know exactly, only that the uh, victim was wearing some kind of a uniform. A uniform? Well, come in. These young men are from my alma mater, Lieutenant, MMI. They're here to take away my military souvenirs for uh, permanent enshrinement in the Memorial Hall. As a matter of fact, Lieutenant, uh, MMI is giving me a testimonial dinner tonight. They're commemorating the 20th anniversary of my retirement and the opening of the Hollister exhibit. Yes, General, do you think I could uh, look inside? To... Well, Lieutenant, uh, wouldn't that be a little obvious? Well, I want to be in a position, sir, where I can tell my superiors that I've checked everything out. Uh, they've already started nailing it shut. Uh, it's, it's just two nails, sir. Very well, gentlemen. I have a friend here who would like to inspect the contents of the crate. Would you open it again, please? Yes, sir. Wow. A lot of guns. <laughs> War trophies, Lieutenant. Uh, AK-47 assault rifle. PPSH-41 drum. PPSH-41 clip. All Soviet made and, as you've observed, all with their firing pins removed. Very, very interesting, General. Uh... War mementos, Lieutenant. Uh, lively memories, uh, empty uniforms. Uh, all carefully packed, Lieutenant, for the exhibit. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, of course, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I'll just, just put the... Back in here, then. There you are. I, uh, I think that, uh, it's fine. Thank you very much, sir. Carry on, gentlemen. Could I offer you something? Oh, no, thank you very much, sir. No. Say, you got a beautiful place here. It's, uh... Thank you. Roomy, and it's homey, and... That's a fireplace. Wow. Boy, you know, when I was a kid, we used to have those fake wooden kinds. I don't know if you remember them or not, General. They had a fan in the back and they had a red light and ribbons, and you turn on the fan and the ribbons, they would flutter there. Yeah, they were terrific. Yeah, that's funny. What's uh, funny? Don't you have those uh, irons? You know that you put in the fireplace to put the... Uh... Oh, uh, and irons. And irons, yeah. No, 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 I never built a fire in there. It's too much trouble. Oh. Easier to turn up the thermostat. Nice. Uh, oh, uh, for show. Oh, the wood is for show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Lieutenant, I've been thinking, the person who turned in that report was right. There was someone here in uniform. Me. While I was packing, I couldn't resist uh, trying on the old harness, you know. I'm glad to be able to tell you that uh, I can still get into it. Well, you know, the report said there was another man here, and he was dressed in a bathrobe. Whoever filed that report was seeing double. Yes, I was wearing a bathrobe while I was packing. Got a match? A match, uh... There you are. Thank you. Just one more thing. <laughs>